See, when we take our time to prepare for the harvest that we know will surely come because the word says it will, as long as we don't give up, as long as we don't stop sowing, it is due us. And if we prepare the way the father tells us to, we will always end up with more than what we even expected. week 19 of Thursday TIPs. That is Tap Into the Power Session with your girl, Corinne Graham. I am the author of the prophetic devotional, He Teaches Me to War with My Hands. This week, we are in the 19th scripture out of the 71 scriptures you will find in this devotional. And we have been standing on the prophetic title, Recognize Your Seasons. Recognize Recognize your seasons, warriors. This comes out of the book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 5. Let's go to the word of God. And it says, he who gathers in summer is a wise son. He who sleeps in harvest is a son who causes shame. Listen, warriors. It is performance time, performance time. We have seasons in the kingdom, just like we have seasons here on earth. We have harvest season. We have due season. And we have many of us who have been faithful to sow and gather in and out of these seasons is now performance time. And so listen here, there are some keys that you need to know when you are in a season of waiting, because just because you're in a season of waiting does not mean that is the time for you to lay down, to get distracted, and to not fill yourself up with the word of God. See, he will use it all, every last bit of it. But the whole purpose of you having your your preparation time is so that when your due season arrives, when it's harvest time, you can go out and put your hand to the plow. See, back in 2020, when the whole world was turned upside down, the Father had me focus in on him, on what was going on going on in the spirit, not what was going on around me in the physical. And he spoke three words to me, prepare, respond, and see. Prepare, respond, and see. So I was diligent to prepare myself because I knew that if the Father is telling me to prepare, this is not time for me to get caught up in the craziness of what's going on. This is still time for me to pursue my purpose. This is still time for me to go towards the promise the Father has spoken over my life. So I began to prepare. And what that did for me is it established me. So when I left out of 2020, I walked into 2021 with a clear, refined vision to move forward in. See, I want to encourage you that it is so important that you sit with the Father and you ask him, Father, how do I prepare? You fast, Father, how do I prepare? And you wait silently, but expectantly because he will speak back to you. But that preparation is so important because you don't want to get to some place that you are not spiritually prepared for. Another thing is respond. He said, prepare, respond. That was the second call to action. So what is your response to the father when he tells you to go? 
Do you tell him, Father, I don't have this. I don't have that. Father, can you wait until this? No, you immediately move forward. You respond in obedience. And when you respond in obedience, when you get into the room, when the doors open for you on your behalf, when the harvest comes, you will be prepared for it. It will not catch you off guard. You will have the agility to handle it all. And the third thing he said is see. See, this is a see moment for many of us. This is a look moment for many of us because this is performance time. See, because of the preparation that I was willing to undergo, the father then carried me into my due season with more baskets than I even saw set out with. See, when we take our time to prepare for the harvest that we know will surely come, because the word says it will, as long as we don't give up, as long as we don't stop sowing, it is due us. And if we prepare the way the Father tells us to, we will always end up with more than what we even expected. It's so much bigger than us. This is kingdom business, kingdom business. And this performance time, for many of us, this is something we have been waiting for for years. But glory to God for his faithfulness, his faithfulness to do what he says he's going to do. So I want to encourage you, warriors, to prepare, to respond, and to because it is performance time. The Father also showed me this this weekend when I was in the book of Esther studying on the word, oh, feasting on the word. And what I saw was Esther had a call to perform, respond, and to see as well. See, when Mordecai came to her and told her the plans of Haman, she knew that she had to prepare for it, even though she didn't want to go, even though she knew what was said. The truth was, if you went to the king when he didn't call for you, that I could be dead. She understood the odds that were stacked against her. But one thing Mordecai told her was either you go or you don't. God is coming through. And sometimes we have to just surrender and say, Father, send me, use me. Because even if we don't go, he will get someone else. But he, Mordecai asked her, what if you were sent here for a time such as this. So when Esther heard of what was going on, the call that was being sent out against the Jews, she knew it was time to prepare. So what did she do? She fasted for three days. She told um, Mordecai to gather everyone, that for them to fast for three days, no water, no food. And that was the preparation. But see, her response was the willingness to go, the obedience to go. Because when she responded and she went to see the king on the third day, she was able to then see. And what she saw, what Queen Esther saw, was the favor that she needed was already in the room. The moment the king laid eyes on Esther, Queen Esther, his favor was already released. And the golden scepter went right out to her. He asked her, "What? It, whatever you want, it's yours up to half of this kingdom. And that that is the performance time hour that many of us are in. Many of us have been reluctant to go in the room. Many of us have been reluctant to go through the double doors. But I'm here to tell you today that when you prepare and respond, you will see. And what you will see is a favor of God will be waiting for you as you enter the room. The answer is yes and amen. Yes and amen. And the beauty of it is some, some of us don't even know that. Some of us don't even know the harvest that have been prepared on our behalf. We don't even know the season that we are in. But glory to God. 
for his faithfulness, his gentleness, his mercy, his grace that refines our movements. See, although Esther didn't go to the king, she didn't hear about what was going on and say, I'm going to the king. There was a message sent to her through Mordecai. But she knew it was still her time to prepare. So sometimes we have to have our ears and our eyes open to know when it's time to prepare so that we can respond and so that we can see. The glory of God, the favor of God is already in the room. So the last thing you want to be caught doing is sleeping is sleeping during the season that you have been called to go and get your harvest. Warriors, 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 I encourage you today to prepare, respond, and to see because it is performance time and you have been gathering, those of us who have been gathering, are about to reap a harvest because we didn't give up. Until next week, guys, stay tuned, stay purposeful, stay blessed with the time that you have left. Know that if you are still here, then you are still here because there is a purpose for you to fulfill. In Jesus' name, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. God willing, we are moving swiftly, almost in the 20th week glory to God. For those of you who haven't already, head over to my website, www.corinnegram.com. Join my mailing list. Purchase a copy of this devotional. Come and journey with us as we reclaim our victory. I love you, warriors, and I will see you soon. Be blessed.